My uh, reaction uh, to the letter was utter disbelief. Uh, during my 29 years here in the Senate, I never heard of, nor even uh, heard of it being proposed, anything comparable to this. Uh, if I had, I can guarantee you, no matter what the issue and no matter who was president, um, I would have certainly rejected it. We've been clear from the beginning. We're not negotiating a, quote, legally binding uh, plan. We're negotiating a plan that will have in it a capacity for enforcement. We don't even have diplomatic relations with Iran right now. And the senator's letter erroneously asserts that this is a legally binding plan. It's not. That's number one. Number two, it's incorrect when it says that Congress could actually modify the terms of an agreement at any time. That's flat wrong. They don't have the right to modify an agreement reached executive to executive between country, between leaders of a country. Mr. Secretary, I know this is a well-written speech, but not a speech, you've been at friend. this for this five This is not minutes. a speech. Yeah. This is a statement about I'm the gonna... impact of this irresponsible letter. And you have a and lot of The letter does not do have legal yeah. authority. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I think you have to ask what people are trying to accomplish. The, the author of the letter says he doesn't want these agreements to be made, and he thinks before the judgment is even made that it's a, a mistake. Yeah. So we'll see where we wind up. Good.